Okay, I have restarted recording. Steel, tell us about the fuck up we made together. Yay! So, his name is David Black or Jon Snow, depending on which side you, you know of him. Is Jon he... Snow your alternate identity? I want to say yes, but then. <laughs> Yes. Also, you don't have to consciously try to detect the vampire straight from the book. Fuck you, Kraft. You can't hide. Yeah, he... Yes, it is his alternate identity. Epic, do you want to feel this one? It's 2015. I make uh, my picture. I'm having fun. Okay, alone. Demi, do you want uh, to tell him? How stupid this is. Steel, you're a bad. It's not stupid enough for Steel. <laughs> Aru, do you want to feel why it's bad for him to have his alternate papers say Jon Snow? Uh, let's see. Um, a Song of Ice and Fire is released in 1996. So yes, it's really stupid. Really, At this really. Point, oh. The show is getting really popular too. Uh, you. I'm not entirely sure who will get you first. The vampires who realize you're trying to hide who you are, or, or us, because we're trying to, uh, to we're attempting to prevent you from, uh, for, from breaking our cover. Fine, I changed. There we go. Yeah, if there's a Toreador with a decent amount of academics, they'll know that name. <laughs> okay. It's a 1 in 7 chance each time for it to roll a Toreador, and it's 5 rolls, at least, as far as you know, right? So there's a pretty good chance there's Toreador in there. Yeah, I'd mm -hmm. change it. I... Yeah. Do what I did. Hunt down a name gen hunt down a random name generator, pick a nationality that you want to be from, and then just roll random until you find something that is fine. Arm There's arm a reason that when I got a German name with four there, names in it. So nobody yeah. can remember. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take us take us through your character, Steve. Okay. Uh, David is a former field medic for the United States Army and is currently in his late 30s. Then he joined the Society of Leopold after his tour on the Middle East. How he got there? He used to be a humanitarian by nature and wanted to be a, a doctor to, you know, help the fellow humans. And uh, he was accepted into a me into a medic school, and uh, basically, you know, came a medic or a doctor, whatever it's supposed to be. With your dots, it's doctor. Yeah, Doctor Steel Bonds. I mean, I'm probably. By the way, Steel, if you medic. walk into a hospital and. Greet everyone with greetings, perfectly normal fellow humans. You will die. Sooner or later, <laughs> your luck will run out and you will die. Oh. Uh, uh, as he realized how many people were hurt in the Middle East, he decided to, you know, enlist in the, in the army to try and help any way he could. Uh, you know, the, after the basic training, everything, he started his first tour. But mm -hmm. there he realized how even the soldiers of the oh so glorious United States of America did atrocious acts to, to the combatants of the enemy side. He did they were to... enemy combatants. You do not look at that footage and think your own thoughts. They were enemy combatants and we were right to bomb them. Go fuck yourself. And that is why he left. So. 
after he finished his tour and left the the army, yes, searching for he a bed joined there. Leopold. What happened? What has he been doing in Leopold? Well, he has been infiltrating several hospitals, pretending to be a, me a medic. That has been placed from one hospital to the other until eventually to the one of the local. And uh, the reason he joined is because as he started working for, for, for a hospital after the tour, he saw something steal blood bags out of the fridge. And the society in a hurry almost inducted him in and told him what they are. And he decided to fight these foul blood sucking monsters that, that harm the humans ju just to live. Turns out at that time it was actually druggies looking for clean blood to submit for tests. But later on you ran into some actual vampires. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, it's irrelevant who it was. <laughs> that, that is what he was told. Okay, fair enough. So, that wise, we already went through that. Um, for the sake of the people knowing, uh, any of your stats that you feel like you should share, things that you are best at, backgrounds in particular, that kind of thing. Okay. Well, he he's posing as as a medic despite his dog doctor so, sort of knowledge, because he would be more flexible. I in a think sense. we said you were posing as a doctor originally, but if you want to shift that, that's fine. Yeah, like he's posing as as a medic, trying a paramedic. To, uh, one of the people who hops into the the one of the first responders. You mean? Here's the More trouble like the part of that steel, and that doesn't fit very well with your character. It requires, might require you to actually let people die that you could save if you're doing that, because you can't show how skilled at medicine you really are. Can I handicap my medicine to three instead of four when I choose to? Yes, yeah. you can. It's a question of whether it fits the character steel. It doesn't. There you go. So you're you're a doctor in an operating room. Congratulations. I think we said emergency room was the best yeah. fit because yeah, then he can ER. watch any crime victims coming in, and he can pick up a lot of information just from what is going on in that emergency room. Yeah. Yep. If you can get names and location where the event happened, then I can always go investigate that later. Yeah. He, okay. He's a doc. He's posing as a doctor in the. Um, in the emergency room that uh, ha has worked in several hospitals under the alias of Mike White. Mm -hmm. So too many, they do not know how skillful he is in, uh, in shooting people in firearms or how he's able to maintain such an Id identity that is almost same to his actual, but not exactly. So he's a decent liar. If mm -hmm. In terms of resources, most of that, like that would essentially be coming from him, you know, working yeah. in the emergency. It's my alternate identity. Yes, that too. And he's done this for long enough that he has four dots in alternate identity. He's, it's a very well-established power, essentially. Which, it would, it would be good if you didn't compromise that. Yeah, I, I will try, and that's why I took common sense. Good. Of... Good. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, during his time, as uh, in his tour, an ID blew up nearby, so he needs to wear glasses now or contacts to function to the fullest of his potential. 
So he has one diff move flaw for like bad eyesight. One yeah. point. Was the of... one thing with that backstory I have a problem with is your conscience being at only a two. Because it sounds like a lot of your decisions were motivated by conscience and. How about 3 3 4? Uh, 3 is. 3 could work, yes. Just remember because to adjust your willpower appropriately as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I ticked it down once and oh, took it down a courage, so. Yeah, and armory wise. He is actual. He was actually smart enough to take a weapon that's virtually completely silent. He used one of his slots for a uh, modern crossbow. Yeah, a crossbow, a shotgun, a light pistol with a silencer and light Kevlar. Specifically wanted light Kevlar instead of the full suit. Well, didn't you say it was like? Let me check. I something. told you you could have. A proper Kevlar vest. It's the military grade armor that would be harder to get, but a full like police vest you could easily get. Yeah, the full police one, no not a military one. Yeah, essentially so the one that it... gives you three dots of armor. Yeah. The suit, right? Like, is it a suit? Is it a vest? What, what exactly? Is it's it? a vest. It's not a riot suit. It's the, it's the middling one at three dots. Okay, three dots of armor vest. Yes. Thanks for ripping open your neck and leaving you to bleed out onto ground. That's not felt much. Yeah, I mean... He's meant to not Again, get if we're getting attacked, then someone has fucked up. If he's getting attacked on his own, we'll consider it a mercy. Probably. Because at least that means he hasn't, he hopefully hasn't compromised the rest of us. Okay. I mean, they usually yeah. kill them, right? They don't leave them alive so to interrogate, right? Are you, it depends on how competent they are. The average player party might just kill them. Then again, they might not. So, as, uh, as far as where he's staying, because he needs to pose as a, as a doctor, he's staying in his own different apartment, despite the base they have. Keep right. the, the identity. Okay, and you have... One dot pulled into the group thing. Like, he will go there, but he stays yes. elsewhere. deal. Standard operating procedure is for when we actually have our first session. Ah, it'll do epic. Okay, so, um, craft. Tell us about this fucker. Um, Franz Kane. There we go. How does that look? Is it good or bad? You're gonna get molested in prison. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I suppose so. Fun. What the fuck? Don't drop the soap, Craft. Don't drop the soap. <laughs> I, I, I would not allow him to have appearance too. Wow. I mean, there's basically one dot in social that I don't really know what to do. I could just put it in appearance. Anyways, oh, he tell is... us about I'm this I'm character. Good. Yes, Franz comes from a family that has been in the society for a few hundred years now. They are uh, of German descent, of course, as you see on the name. And, <clears throat> but Franz himself actually had psychic powers, so the family is not too happy with him. So, you know, he had an isolated upbringing in the family, in, you know, the society before that, you know, as they usually do. I mean, and being, young being raised in the society is the isolated upbringing, generally. I mean, yeah, I guess. Fine. I don't say anything, right? So, well, he was, yeah, he was raised in the society because of his family. And he has been, uh, he is known of, you know, the supernaturals since then. And his first encounters with that was with his, you know, training with the society and all that. But it turned out he had, you know, 
uh, his family has some, uh, you know, magic stuff because of all their years. So he has hedge magic. Would that be okay or do I need to change that? I, do you want to get more paths, essentially? I mean, either way, if you're a sanctioned witch, then you're trusted to practice these things. So. Yeah, okay, yeah. But yes, he has, uh, yeah, just just my the, the one I do have, I put it in disciplines because, you know, where the fuck would I have Yeah. It? Is that one okay? Yeah, I'll I'll check it out, probably. Okay, but anyways, yes, it's, so because we had talents for this, his, uh, he, you know, he, his hap family wasn't too happy with him since, you know, they, they were kind of conservatives since they've been in the society for so long. Mm-hmm. So that's so he only has one status, even though he's been with the society for as long as he has. But they are nice enough to give him some resources, so that's where he gets those from. And he has, and since you know, because of the family's training, they also know how useful alternative identities are. So he has some of that too. His alternative identity's name was it's Jonathan Jonathan Grandberg who is a expert detective. Describe expert detective. Are you like a private uh, yes. eye? Or are uh, you yes. with the police or? He's a private detective. Cause he isn't that, he hasn't, doesn't have that good of a alternative identity yet to be actually the police. So you're a private eye. Yes. Yeah. Okay, are you gonna be... Well, actually, yeah, we're gonna say that you have the documents and credentials of Prita. I, whether you want to set up a business in town, or otherwise, that's, that's up to you. Can we oh. actually play? Yeah. Yes. Anyways, Franz uh, was uh, not a very... He wasn't very physically oriented, even though he was raised in society, was, you know. He's more of a knowledgeable person, if you would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can uh, see you have a lot of stuff in knowledges. Yes. Mm. So, the, f the the fourth in the cult is from Freebies, if you look at the notes. Yeah. So, it's, here's the thing. Acting as a private eye, you're not very familiar with how the normal world works necessarily and i don't yeah. think you have that much in things like performance you have five in manipulation software future true world, but not having any in performance which is useful for you know like long term playing a role rather than direct lies might make it hard yeah. for you in particular to keep that um role especially with that flaw Hmm. True, true. I was looking at merits and flaws for him because I wasn't really done with him, you know, per se. So anything that would fit him, like he could have glasses like the picture, so be short sighted and then just take that freebie point and put it in 92. Perhaps. How bad is two in short sight, uh, in bad eyesight? It, I think it's Can either a 1 or a 3. Was it? Yeah, one. 1 being... Well, continue. 1 is essentially you can wear glasses to correct for it easily. Otherwise, it's bad enough that... I think you can't correct it with glasses or contacts. Yeah, that's what the higher 1 than 1 is. Huh. But yeah, with, you can be someone that's, you know, I can just you, you can be it. from a society family, but like a cloistered upbringing is probably a bad idea with what you're going for here. And you might want to move some of your dots so you have a at least something in performance because that could get you killed easily. Mm-hmm.
true, true. Acting is very important. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's twenty one free to put a couple in occult. Uh I could remove the occult, but I don't really want to because that's really hard I to get. I think your math adds up because you have your talents at a total of 11 and you get 9 for free. I do? Wait a second. Wait, so is Craft being a vampire something he changed at the last minute or is he still um, doing that? Um, He's not a so... fucking vampire. I'm not gonna let him play a vampire. For... Like, no, oh, work. There we go. Plays a vampire. I shake his hand. I'm just kidding. We already discussed this. <laughs> it does not work that way. It cannot work that way. You have to know yep. that it, or you have to know, or at least think that it's an unholy being for it to kick in. The power is yep, born of hatred. You must, you know, As I said, be hating when you do it. This. So if I just happen to hate someone, I'm just kidding. Don't worry. I know what you mean. <laughs> no. If you oh, hate no. them with a truly burning passion after steel pisses you off enough about the time, when you hit him, it will still be bashing. But if he got turned without you knowing about it and then you hit him, it would turn into ag through that hatred. <laughs> yes, I agree with this. Okay? That's how it works. In other words, you always greet us to a punch in the face, just to check. It, he might kill you! With yeah, a with single dice. blow! Yeah, with those dice he might, to be fair. Remember, we are mortals. <laughs> yeah, we're we squishy are mortals. mortals. Squish. <laughs> I think like yeah. five levels of lethal. That's like a month of recovery after surgery. Bruh. Yeah. That sounds about right. At the very least. <laughs> Epic, Epic is the guy who says, I'll stick your ass up. I'll stick your hand up your ass and actually does it. <laughs> 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 Okay, so, alternate identity is essentially documents for being a private eye. Resources come from actually doing the job, then? Um, some from the family, some from doing the job, I would say. I would Even say you they, have to many... pick and choose. Actually doing the job uh, makes for a better cover, but comes with the downside of actually having to do the job. Exactly. Uh, I will let you draw the resource as a stipend, but then... Hey, does that private eye actually do anything? It makes it easier to penetrate your cover. Up to you, Craft. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. I'll be a private eye. It, it's a good job anyways. Embrace your alternate identity. Live out of it. I mean, it's not that good yet. It's gonna be better after I keep doing this enough, though gonna be amazing Don't worry. if you can actually solve some cases yes <laughs> i mean an, you can probably get help from me as an fyi mm. you will have time in this campaign like if it takes you more than six months to track down the vampires the society is probably gonna be really upset with you but yeah. you can take a couple of months just establishing yourselves before really going for it for example you do have some mm -hmm. room to maneuver that that way. Is expendable a flaw you can take? <laughs> I mean, we already have the expendable flaw. I think that's just not a by default. Yeah, I know, but I'm not getting any points for it, so why not take I it for me? I mean, you're like bright-eyed trainees, essentially. Right now, there's the big mission and there's the side mission. The big mission is investigating Boston. The side mission is Oh, Boston apparently has some vampires controlling a smaller city here. Well, we'll send the newbies. Yeah. Let's see how bad they fuck up. Still, if they expected you to fuck up, you wouldn't be here. You would yeah, be in a ditch. You. 
Mm -hmm. You would have been, you would have, you would have had an unfortunate accident in the first session. And that's that. So far, we're not planning to have that happen yet. Yeah, I have hopes and dreams. Hopes and dreams. This is yeah. the world of darkness, Epic. There's only tears and suffering. And the screams of jackalors as they leap at Gangrel Primogen. <laughs> <laughs> They're still the Fae. They're trying. Yeah, at they this point, the there's dream. probably like one or two mouths that have caught a glimpse and just got. Ah. Oh. Because mouths can see through Fae bullshit. The mist because don't work on them. Bullshit. Yeah, they, they, they have their own counter. It's like Auspex countering Obfuscate. Auspex will counter this, but Malkavians? They, yeah. ha they just madness. passively ignore because of madness. Yeah. Not even necessarily madness specifically, it's that divine-inspired madness, not just, you know, ordinary run-of-the-mill yeah. crap. Yeah, this ain't no run-of-the-mill madness. This is divine madness. God damn it. I need to make some uh, fairy sheets before next. <laughs> so that so that Epic can have his uh, his fairy diplomacy. So that Epic can kill mm -hmm. Jackalor after he tries to abduct one of them on orders from the Lord. I mean, what? Yeah. <laughs> ah. Jackalor's a bad and would probably do it what, whether or not you told him to once he learned about Jackalor. Oh, no, I told Jackalor was gonna report it until I suggested that you know. He's like, she'll probably just order me to stay away. I was like, yeah, lol, sure. <laughs> That's what she'll do. And then he was like, plus no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, yes. So yes. we have... How are these? Let's go over any flaws. What are you replacing the isolator that are bringing with craft? Assuming that you don't want that. Oh, fuck with you. Alright, what What was my... Your flaw, the again? isolated are bringing. How badly was it? How bad was it? Or... It, Wait, it, what? It will fuck you. I thought you wanted to replace it with like bad sight or something. Or glasses. Oh, right, yeah, let's just fucking do Bad sight and glasses. Okay. Let's double check steals. Pause. Bad sight and common sense makes sense because you need those. Demi! Yeah, I need to do my uh, merits of flaws with you as well. Remind me of privacy, obsession, and thousand meter killer. Clear sight, it was the ability to see through obfuscate. And yeah, uh, I had that in my uh, lore. But, anyways, uh, privacy, obsession. Uh... I can't remember the exact details. God damn it. Let me find a book now. I don't I'm pretty sure it was part in of book. Any book. I'm, I'm, I know I fucking remembered it. At least it was on uh, reference disc as well. Yes, no. that's why I'm asking. I'm pretty sure Jackalor has that. Which is why that's a weird thing for you to have. Because I think that's about not entering places without invitations. Like a vampire. I think it was actually the other way around. You have your own. Uh, you carry the Zemisi res respect for privacy to extremes. You must make a willpower roll difficulty six to enter another being's dwelling without being invited. Uh, Is there something you I want to tell us, Demi? <laughs> and you could say, uh, I'm trying to be a vampire. I made no, that joke. I, he actually I has totally misread that. that. When I thought privacy obsession, uh, you know, I just went with the whole, uh, yeah. Uh, I need my own privacy. Anybody going, basically, sort of territorial. When uh, disturbed in your mans by an un, when disturbed in your mans by an uninvited guest, you must make a self-control roll or instincts roll. Difficulty seven to avoid frenzy. So once again, Demi, is there something you would like to share with the group? <laughs> but anyways, uh, just. Territorial, I, my I I'm not gonna frenzy, but you know, just going into sort of a blind rage and getting in the fuck. Are you uh, frenzy? Uh, no, <laughs> blind rage. Easy peasy. Yeah. Just, uh, Demi, just, it's okay, you can have this law. Just add addicted to vampiric blood 
to it and uh, oh. just put in potence and like vicissitude one in your disciplines. It, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie, that oh. actually <laughs> fair deal. <laughs> There, there, mean, there are going to be some questions. No. I mean, it's clear. You just take Ospex, not fucking... Yeah. Oh, he does not get the choice. <laughs> 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 not for... If he gets potent and another free dot of disciplines, I get to pick the second dot. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, while I'm looking for another thing, um, basically the uh, uh, hunt thousand meter killer was actually from the Ask My Clan book, but ignoring just the whole um, sort of uh, what it's actually about, it was basically uh, just uh, reducing the difficulty to hit somebody with a sniper rifle by minus one and doubling your range. That is not gonna be cutting it as a one point merit then. You're gonna need to spend more for that. Two it's point. a bit too powerful. I mean, you make the merits that are too powerful mo cost more, but the flaws that are like one point flaw, but it's completely shit. That that's fine. They are supposed to be la like that. Craft. They are flaws. Craft. It's shit for what you're trying to do. Epic can essentially ignore the negatives from it because they don't affect his build that much. No, yeah, not that. I mean, like. It's bad for your character. No, no, not yeah. that. Not at that. I mean, like, if it's a one point flaw, but it's much more worse than a one point flaw. That's then I mean, you can make the flaw, argument for getting more out of it, craft instead of whining like a little bitch mm -hmm. and complaining that I'm not fair. Okay. <laughs> Uh, besides the thousand meter killer, another one that could have been, uh, I remember this by uh, playing with Wind of the thing. Another one that might fit a bit wetter, better, since it is kind of more religious in a sense, uh, da David's hand one, which was uh, every time you, uh, you know, took time to uh, aim, it wasn't one dice, but you get plus two dice, but it was a three point merit. Make me want oh. to kill you. I love really? You too. Really Wait, is it capped by your perception still? Yeah, it's still capped yes. by your perception. So just well, like, uh, here's a good example. You have five perception, five dex, five firearms. Your total amount for even just baseline to shoot somebody with five turns to aim suddenly becomes 20. Yeah, but you still need five turns to aim somebody. When you have all the time in the world, not that problematic. But if it's, for example, something in, like, battle, where you need to kill if people you fast... Scope, it becomes okay, 22. in two. terms of thousand-meter killer, Demi, it's yeah. a, like you said, it's a minus one to difficulty, and it doubles your range. Given yeah. how important it is for you as hunters to set up a slam-dunk kill if you can... I'm gonna make it cost four points. Oof. Oof. In large part because it also really has that minus one on difficult. It's still good, but this way it's at least semi balanced ish. Yes. Because so this, right. this is just immensely good for what you're trying to do. Less so necessarily for a yeah. vampire, but for a normie, it's invaluable. Yeah. yeah, vampires have aspects that they can use to replace that, like a collection of merits and the build and the uh, numina pads. But not even that. You, that, that vampires yeah. need to fear getting close a lot less because they can heal easy. Yeah, if they, you can keep them far they, away and then just keep poking them in the face with ten damage. Bolts they do or not need it as much as humies. Yeah. Oh, quick question it's by the way, person. if I uh, followed your line of thought. Uh, because it has two different aspects, one far more important than the other, did you think maybe like three points for the minus one to a combat-related shot, and then the extra range was about one point worth? Probably, Just close, that close, probably closer to two and three, but I'm going to let it be a four in total for the set. Okay. Demi's just rapidly adding in extra flaws. 
Uh, no, I just realized nightmares is actually pretty good from what I have from a you know from a childhood drama things. I was thinking flashbacks as well, but <laughs> then trauma so nightmares were. You do so. still need to get rid of privacy obsession. Yeah, I know. I'm looking when I'm looking and uh, just take flashbacks, you wimp. <laughs> <laughs> you know nobody it, calls me a wimp and gets away with you it. You listened to your mother getting. I I don't even have a word. <laughs> every day as a child, and then you saw her get killed, and got slammed into a hole by her killer, and then you joined essentially a cult. I think <laughs> it's flashbacks. I, I yeah, I, I think think it's flashbacks. Easy peasy. God, fuck. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. What was, what, what was the roll for flashbacks, by the way? Willpower. Oh, it's simple. You make a willpower roll at the beginning of each session. If you okay, fail willpower. the willpower roll, you have one willpower for the session. This may be regained okay. on the next session. Yeah. I thought it was be... waiting off control for once, but fuck me. No, no, it... For this, and the others will remind me, do not forget. We're not going to roll it at the beginning of the night. We're going to roll it when it actually matters. So you can't know in advance if you're going to get cocked that <laughs> night. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I agree with it. Yeah. He, he wants to see yeah. us crash and burn in the most entertaining manner possible. I can't we say did that. We, we would, did that I mean, if, to him, this is actually probably one of the things that matters the least. Because yeah. hopefully he's not close enough for Dominate to be a thing. Exactly. <laughs> You are a thousand yards killer, what the fuck ever. And I see... You set up a kill on a single neonate. Someone taps you on the shoulder. The Ventrua <laughs> deputy just looks down on you like, Hi there. Yeah, you fucked up a couple of weeks back. Sit still. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. Just, I mean, it fits your character. Totally, it works. I just went with I. I had it like I was thinking, but once uh, Chris told me a uh, go flashbacks, you wimp. I went with flashbacks. So fuck you, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> what are the chances of a nine dice roll on willpower failing? Not too bad. Uh, not they're pretty low, really. Yeah, yeah, that's a dumb you're, wrong. You're yeah. probably gonna be fine, right? What are the chances, right? <laughs> you end off with the bot right there. I don't think that was intentional, but it underscored your point perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> the dice are on his side. The dice are on his side, guys. You have seen it now. Yeah. No, no. Draco's dice always side with him if he's going to fuck the players. Don't yeah, me. I mean, that last dice roll was fucking priceless and perfectly timed. <laughs> you, just, you just kept rolling, you're like, what's the worst that could happen? Instantly, the uh, the bot comes up. <laughs> I mean, maybe you yeah. luck out, maybe it's all like Gangrel and Bruja all the way. I mean, <laughs> we're not that lucky, totally. we really aren't. Yeah, we have no, to deal no, with no. a fucking would... Harbinger of Skulls if what I managed, what I, I managed to pick up from you is correct. That's fine, I don't care about that. Uh, but yeah, yeah, nine dice on willpower makes this actually really a good flaw, yeah. because it's really hard to fail. And I, you cannot spend a willpower on it, so it's a straight up roll. Yeah, because it's a reflect. It, it may as well be a reflexing throw, it's basically your saving throw. You can't willpower saving throws 90% of the time. Yeah. Some of them you can. This one deliberately I mean, like, states you. that you can't in the floor. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's to penalize. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we know. have double checked and Demi got there. Isolated upbringing, vengeful rebel, and paradise lost. Yeah, those all make sense. You're good. And Gavin. Psychic feedback that fucks you for, you know. Using psychic yep. stuff and psi focus means that you need to have it with you. You sure you want it to be an yep. item and not like a phrase or gesture kind of thing? Yes. Okay. Mainly because of the backstory, which is where he ended up taking up smoking for a period of time to deal with the stress of his job. He, he's dropped that, but he, he developed his psychic powers while he was still doing dealing with that. And he had to uh, 
he, he's, he's kept that as a memento from previous times. Okay. Let me look up clear sighted because I think it was horribly overpowered. It is horribly overpowered. <laughs> it's perception alertness to pierce through obfuscate and illusions. Yep. It's a one level plus three. Not to pick. Okay, given yeah. that you're fighting essentially weak ass neonates, I will nerf it slightly by letting them roll mm -hmm. against it. Yeah. But yeah, that's right. But yeah, I'm not gonna make the difficulty of your roll any worse. I might even make it slightly easier by making it the powers level plus two in most cases. So mm -hmm. they will but... essentially. I want them to have a chance to counter roll against you. So yep. we're gonna be handling it that way. So three right. does suspects too, or less. You will I mean, I already have Auspex 3, so... You will essentially treat it as more powerful version of Auspex's ability to see through things. Mm-hmm. Illusions and everything. Hmm? Don't go into this. Huh? See? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> I, I would be surprised if there wasn't a Nazi in this town. I really wouldn't. I really, I really would. Just like a well, granny yeah, on like... a street corner, you see through the mask. Oh, God! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, we might end up running into the situation that we had during the demon game I was in, where we accidentally saw the people we shouldn't have, and that tipped off some of the, uh, so some of the other folk. Mainly with Kraft running straight into the, uh, the, the Nazi that was hiding under his bed. Let's yeah. check this out. Astral projection at one. Yeah. So you it's can basically see the, uh, I can sense when someone's yeah. there. Good. Uh, okay, I would say that that might actually allow you to sense certain types of magical energies as well, to some extent, if they mm -hmm. are powerful enough to have an imprint on the uh, astral plane. Yep. Like if there's a powerful chantry for some reason in this town or something, you know? If there's a powerful chantry, I think at that point, like we've ID'd, um, we've ID'd a heart, the uh, the haven of like a fuck ton of powerful vampires and an elder vamp. Uh, are, are we allowed at back up that, to this? No, at that point, you are pretty much kidnapped and indoctrinated and turned, I believe. I mean, that's if they catch me before I can get the call off. Uh... That's like a, as you are dialing. You just hear a sound, look up, and see a stony fist descending towards your face. Yeah. I, 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 I think that's the sort of thing. Yeah, that, that's the thing that para a truly paranoid Tremere would end up having ward set up to prevent that. I mean... It doesn't mean they can't be overconfident, but it also doesn't mean that they will be. We'll, we'll, we'll see how everything goes. If there's a Tremere, if there's a chantry that powerful, then we're already fucked, so... There is a boss fight I have planned into this if you do well enough or badly enough on dealing with the neonates. If you do well <laughs> enough, then you have a more powerful target that gives you an opportunity to show how awesome you are to your higher-ups with no neonates to help them. If you do badly enough, then the neonates just report you to their higher-ups and you get hunted by said boss. Mm -hmm. So, will it take it on or it comes to take us down? Either Basically. way, it's probably gonna show up. It's a question of whether it shows up to investigate the disappearance of five promising neonates, or... Or, or the, uh, the appearance of a group of Leopold hunters. Yes, or to help them after they call him in, or her. Yep. Um, yeah. Divination. Lowering the difficulty of initiative rolls by one. That is completely... Completely nuts and doesn't make much sense. We don't have difficulty rolls for initiative. Yes. Or initiative. So it probably it it either give a plus one initiative bonus or do something else on your. Uh... It's a difficulty yeah. seven roll for this, and it costs a willpower right to activate. I think. No. Only the higher levels. Only the higher levels. Ah, but you have to use something like to... Five. 
But you need to Yeah, use... you have to make a thing. Like pray or like okay. use cards or you know. I will give you a plus one to the next combat you enter as long as the duration doesn't get fucked over. Um for each success you get on the activation roll for the level one. So All right. Yeah, it, it's gonna act like a bonus to the next combat you enter after casting it, as long as the time limit for the power is required. So, yeah, you can buff your initiative with that. <laughs> Let's see, and this is for comparing two outcomes. Okay, yeah. this, this one I like. This is really good. You can die horribly and get turned by virtually any Auspex clan that notices you, but, you know, have fun being a Malk. <laughs> wow. I mean, he'll get to play yeah. his character concept for the most part. That's not the degeneration he wanted. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he may end up, Man, may end up rolling know. a series of tens on the luck dice and may end up getting turned as, a gen, as like a Gen 8 or something. Yeah, like, come on, it's a Malk. Could be any chance. So, right? what we need to do is kill anybody that becomes a vampire, right? Of course, yes. Yeah. Yes, they are traitors to God. They were good, They are that being said, neonates were created here with standard neonate creation rules. That is no XP, 15 freebies, maximum Gen 8, and if they but that, they didn't get a lot of other backgrounds that are also good. Bear that in mind. So the most he could get is Gen 9 if a local turned him. Ah, I'm sad. <laughs> Unfortunate. Yeah, so they also get the XP, don't they? Just a quick question. No. They then don't. Then. They have no XP. Literally. Base neonates, no, same as like your zero. During the session, no, no, like through the sessions, they will get XP. Why they well, don't know for... you're hunting them and just going through their ordinary lives? It might be one, maybe two per session. Once they start actively having to survive against you, they might start getting experience faster. But they're not gonna be. All right. It's not gonna be pouring from the heavens at the same rate it's gonna be for you guys. Yeah. Given that Basically, this is going to be a slower, more infiltration-based thing, I think I'm going to set you at 4 per session. Hmm. But you do get oh. willpower back for each night in which you are able to get like seven and a half, eight hours of sleep. Yeah. So, I mean, there's hey, also the fact that, uh, yeah. Something like that. You can mm -hmm. actually use willpower freely. Oh, why? <laughs> In terms well, more, of right. any other questions or information you would have in character, uh, now would be time to ask, because I think we've covered the character creation part. Yeah. Um, um, can I, since my, you know, in my flaw, my family doesn't really like me for being a witch, can I take failure? Like, I used to have higher status, but It I'm wouldn't a affect anything in this campaign, so no. No? Okay, mm -hmm. fine. Actually, one more thing we do need to work out. Uh, tell me, uh, just write in chat how much points you're pulling towards the base of operations, and we need to figure out where it is and uh, how good it is, what it I has in it. Two. Keyboard. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, so, and total of five? Demi has three, I think. Demi, goddammit! Stop talking with yeah. chat! Yeah, I have three. So that's eight. So that's a total of eight. Now let me open the base of operations background. And actually, I'm going to create you a group out. Thank you. Um, would we know that this is a Camarilla city or have any idea of what clans might be here or any information You're on that? Old. Or no? Um, yeah, I'll, that's part of what I'm going to cover. Alright. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's start with base of operations, because that matters. Okay, you need to divide between luxury, size, and security. So, probably if you want to 
be able to keep the people who don't have alternate identities, you need size too. Yeah. Uh, in terms of properly treating wounds and the like, uh, yeah, we need you uh... in order to keep wounds clean. You're probably gonna need luxury too, at least. Otherwise, it's mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. There's a good chance it's yeah. just rescued furniture, and you can't make sure that it's as clean as it should be. Yeah, we can freeze it all we want, but that won't kill the uh, the cockroaches that are currently hiding underneath the cushions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In terms of medical supplies, that's something, yeah, that's probably something that would be covered under steel, trying not to get caught stealing from the hospital. Yeah. We, we will sell you up the river and, and if or execute you, depending on how threatening you are to secrecy. <laughs> okay, in terms of how gameplay is going to go, I mentioned it to at least some of you, but I'm going to be at least trying to enforce a rule where people have to figure out how to solve situations on their own. And the way this is going to work is I want you, if you want to ask others for help, I want you to ask me first if you can ask for advice or if you want to offer advice again, ask me. And then mm -hmm. we're going to cover that with like a wits or intelligence based role or whatever is appropriate. And then we are going to, you know, that's how it's going to function. Like the other players can help, but it's going to be based on, in Steel's case, his common sense merit to some extent. In other people's cases, also, you know, roles. Yeah. Because making the right decisions or making mistakes is more or less the fundamental core aspect of this campaign, because this is literally mm -hmm. daggers in the dark kind of thing. In terms of security, I think yeah. some of you have enough science and technology to be able to install that kind of stuff, so if the Leopolds would have would be able to provide you with the hardware so you know it's reasonable that you would be able to have some decent security i have two, yeah. science, two science two technology two computers so i yes still that was covered under me saying that among all of you you have enough to make it work <laughs> Uh, <laughs> essentially, I will allow you to move one of those points from base into a specialized kind of arsenal and essentially let you have a well-stocked trauma kit so you can perform basic surgery and wound care right in the base without risking steals identity by stealing yeah, I, medical supplies. I, that, yeah, that sounds I like a good I, idea. I will use my pult for that. Yeah, that's fair. So then you could yeah. go two size, two luxury and three security and have a trauma kit as a group thing and then yeah. essentially unless you need unless you hit crippled with lethal, you are gonna be Given a few rolls from steel, be able to heal in the base without much risk. Yep. Yep. And now comes oh, the yeah. fun part. We get to try and navigate the unknown. We get to try and play Minesweep, the first click of Minesweeper. So what it sounds like is two size, two luxury, and then uh, total... Three security, uh, and we get the trauma three kit. Three security and trauma kit. Yep. Yes, essentially. Mm -hmm. Just essentially a big cooler full of supplies. Plasma bags, antibiotics, uh, all the gauze, you know, all the surgical crap you might need. All right. Yep. Nice. I, I really wanted in reinforced walls, though. Why? Epic, so if it's bad enough walls. for you to need them, you've already lost. Yeah. Yeah. No, he wants them so that he can use them as a punching bag. And we're, no. we're yelling at him too. I, I actually really want them so that if the Nazis come up, they can't escape easily. 
<laughs> I'll be honest. Also, also, it would be hard to listen in if anybody was listening outside. For any case. Yeah. But I do feel True. that we need two basic, luxury and two Basic sides, sound so. isolation, like, in the walls, would be covered under three. It wouldn't be anything super thick or super high tech, but civilian issue sound isolation would definitely be part of that. I would okay. That. So you're not going to be instantly fucked by that. That being said, if a Toreador presses his ear, to the front door with all specs focused on hearing, they might still be able to pick something up. If or just accidentally drop something, something by watching. Yeah. If they figure Not out really. what our base of operations is and are planning to assault it, then we've already lost. This is a given. Ah, uh, nah. We can come back. To okay, that. so where do you want to set up? Yep. It's time for the first book of Minesweeper, guys. <laughs> Obviously at the Witch Museum. Come on now. I, I, I go with something like here. This is my vote. Ooh, Up I love that now. big demi. Yeah, go for it. I'm no, don't listen to Chris. Actually, the local... Actually, the hospital's all the way down here. Steel's gonna be working there. We should yeah. probably be, co be closer to there. No, 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 no. 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 <laughs> he has I his own apartment. Thing. Remember? Yeah. He's I gonna probably live problem. like here. Yeah. Right, okay. I'm if saying we make too much distance here. for him, though, it will be harder on his time scale. It uh. is. This is Salem, Massachusetts, I believe. I think it was the Massachusetts yep. Salem. So if it's yeah, it's, Essex and the Salem Witch Museum, yeah, that'd be. That. There are so many Salem's in the, America. The town is a small town of forty thousand people. Commute is not going to be a big problem. Oh, okay. So, I'm staying near my job, but the thing is, needs to be like away. Does it have? Let's be right next to this. Like, okay. How about, how about we so far just make little like rectangles where everyone wants to be in their own color? Does anyone know where the police station is? Uh, the police station is here. I checked previously for undisclosed reasons on the uh, Google Maps. <laughs> For undisclosed reasons. About the center. In that case, I kind of want like us that, to please. be possibly over here at Northern Street. Mm -hmm. Um, that's in yeah. that's in the neighboring town, man. I mean, do we have to be in the red, Chris? Uh, not necessarily. No. Okay. We can Just live. Just put your box there, Epic. So we can live here, over here. Being a ways they... off from the center is a good idea. There's less of a random chance of people, you know, noticing. Yeah. That being said, Actually, this the, town two, or the that thing town... I really wanted. Yeah. The reason I want this is so that we can set up uh, possibly a trap on our own house. So if it does get found out, we might take a few with them. Without the police or anyone getting too close too fast. I think PB has its own police force. Um, but what was yeah, the uh, downside you were going to say, Draco? I, it, like, you can set up more or less anywhere. It doesn't have to be within Salem proper. But if it is a question of you being over there, I will make sure to check out that city's, you know, police force. And I might roll for vampires you have no idea about that occupy that spot. Because <laughs> if Boston is sending I... out neonates to quote unquote rule over these small towns, clearly they're expanding and there's always a lot of neonates to go around. Yeah, I didn't know that this was a different town. I yeah. think it be might town? be. Because if you can open Google Maps and look for some Massachusetts, this is not as densely populated as this map mode makes it look. There's a lot of green from the satellite view. Yeah, I mean, oh, that's actually I, at home I, I live in an area where, away from there, like, though. everyone has both a front and back lawn, and like, uh, like five feet away from the uh, the property line of owned lawn. I know the kind of uh, area there that where that's kind of talked yeah. about. I'm probably staying where though. I don't know how maps work. 
you can... You're probably staying somewhere within the down limit still. Because what oh, do yeah, you I'm like? Staying... Like what? Here some shit? Ah, so oh. it is a different part of town. Oh. Honestly, guys. Yeah. I think right here is the best spot for you. Where? I don't think we should listen listen to the ST for these I don't care. Where is he I, talking? I don't have uh, an ulterior motive. I don't I have an ulterior motive. Honest. I felt a small laugh behind that. Do we be a bit I further than in the center though. there? I actually don't mind that, but I want us to be like maybe even all the way over here. Sure, you're investing a total uh -huh. of seven background points into the base of operations. You have reasonable control of the location. So, like there? I wanted it to be like a place yeah, where right it's easy to escape. So that's yeah, why I put there it is it. A here. Hope there are no marine gangrel out there. I don't I mean, care about that. Yeah, uh, yeah they want to attack escape us. is very relative. Uh, yeah. I mean, if we can get somehow get a boat, we would actually be pretty awesome. Yeah, if we had a boat. But do we have a boat? Mm, probably you probably, probably not. try and get one in the game. You can get try and get one we in the game, but sure. you don't have sure. enough necessarily reason. Like, then, then we could like live over here too at that point. Generally, because uh... that's the docks from what I can see. Let's see. Yeah. In terms of vehicles. Dock. Uh, you have enough resources to rent a vehicle or two while you're in town, or something like that? Or just buy something crappy? But if you want I... something specialized, like, you could in theory get it with more old stuff into Arsenal. Like, I would be happy to let you have a motorboat that can carry all of, all of you for another point of Arsenal. Just, you can treat old arsenal as requisitions from the society, to some extent. Mm -hmm. So, you know, so, if... I don't mind a crappy vehicle in general, that's yeah. fine. I would like a boat if anyone has anything prepared for that. Uh... If we could get a boat, we would have a pretty great way to escape without them being able to do much about it. Now then we'd have to disappear again, but, you know. Yeah. Yeah, if you... Generally speaking, if you ran without at least trying to take out the ones that discovered you, that is a pretty major loss, mostly due to the fact that it's... It would probably mean that your alternate identities, some of which have taken a lot of time to establish, would be burned. Mm -hmm. and yep. That, that would essentially be a loss condition, but it would be a partial law at most yeah. i mean i just want to be away from you know general people and the police and other such emergency yeah. You, vehicles. yeah you can that way we can blow up the house if needed yeah sure if you wish to blow up the house that would be more than a single dot of arsenal to set up a proper self-destruct thing. That would probably be like two to get a setup for those from Leopold. I f I didn't figure from Leopold. I figured that'd be something we set up in the game. Yeah. Game. I just said as an option. Mm -hmm. That might be something we, we set up with resources and shit. Yeah. I mean, even not even really blowing up, just the ability to even just set it on fire is setting on good. fire would be a lot more easy than blowing it the fuck up. Yeah, mm. yeah, it would. Because, I mean, steel would. I basically no want our basic... house to be an expendable thing, if possible. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I would know how to do it. Steel, steel would have basic chemistry, for in general terms. But most of his specialization in science would be specifically towards like organic chemistry and that kind of thing, because it is an extension of his training in medicine. Don't worry, guys. 
I know the yeah. simplest bomb we can make. You don't Got know a, a dead character. <laughs> I have hunter training to four. I think I can know how to make flour into a bomb. Hunter tactics would Wait. mean that you would know... You would know that it's possible, and you would know how practical it is to actually do that. And you know the consequences in terms of attention being drawn to that place after it blows up. Totally. You know, yeah, you would know that it's a thing, and how it's to a actually last use it. Kind of yeah. Deal. yeah, he offered a, uh, an alternate skill called hunter training. Uh, hunter oh, tactics, asked, specifically. Oh, yeah, tactics. Tactic, yeah. So, oh, yeah. essentially, uh, so you, also... you wouldn't necessarily know how to make it, but you would know where to start looking for step-by-step -step instructions. Like, for example, where to look for it on the internet kind of thing, and how not to get caught looking for it. That kind of stuff. Okay, sweet. So, then get there, would be more of like, there would be more of a chance of fucking it up, obviously, due to you not having the training outright. Unless someone with at least summer training was suitably helping you or actually doing it. But Hunter Tactics, the anarchist cookbook style crap, you can at least look it up and attempt it, even without having proper training in the skills. Um, Chris, my science would be like towards chemistry mostly, because that's what I assumed when I put it into science. Like, okay, then write you know, that's it what the kind down of stuff you would in learn. the notes that your science specialty is chemistry. Do, because I don't know if we're playing with specialties or not. Because I oh, assume the things we don't. that always have specialties, yes. Science is right. one of those. Oh, so should should I remove the fireman's firearms and subterfuge ones? Uh yes, probably. Okay, let me remove. Then mm. Generally really speaking, oh, we, can, we can we uh, can specify these. We can adjust the specialties on the few things that will have them as we go. So science is more like organic chemistry. Uh, yes, probably. I don't know how to spe specify it. It's. But it, I mean, are you trying to say biology or? I mean, because chemistry be, I mean, is biology kind of would be thing. under medicine. I would say. You know what? Write I it mean. down as biology, because yeah, that's that's probably exact how it would be best defined given what kind of training you would have gotten in med school. Yeah, no, there is a serious difference between what you do in medicine and what you do in a biology kind of deal. Well, yes, but you, he has like two dots in it, so I think that's at the level that a really good doctor would have understanding of biology in general. Sure. So, I guess. Okay. And for, for so, crafts, for crafts, I just go general crafts. Okay, so in terms of the base of operations. We have an idea where we want it to be, we have an idea as to what we want to put in there. What does it actually look like from the outside? Is it like a house you're renting? Yeah, or... I think so. Uh, okay. Yeah, it'd probably be a house we're renting, yeah. Under whose name Size is it? Size house. Um, I'm the one with, uh, I think I'm the one with, high, with the highest alternate identity. So... Niels no. is at four. Okay. No, we're not renting that, then me staying in an apartment. Yeah. Okay. I'm probably the second. It can also, as an option, be tied to essentially someone like a name that isn't any of yours, that's like a Leopold name. And then once per session, maybe, I might require you to roll likely luck. As long as it's not like snake eyes or something, you would probably be fine. It would be really unlikely that you would get fucked, in other words. So. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> God uh, fucking damn it, these just, dice. <laughs> I think I'll just go ahead and st have steel be it. I don't mind. Yeah. No. I mean, why? I, I, 
No, no. You are a surgeon. Well, no, not a surgeon. You're a bloody emergency I not... room doctor. Yeah, I don't want to stay alongside the rest of you. I want to stay the in an apartment. The question is, if someone starts looking into him, why isn't he staying there? It's a it big is house. entity. Why is he renting two Heck? places? Yeah, well, actually, that's same... quite common for a doctor. In the same city. So, I yes. rent a house, but I stay in an apartment close to my job. Yeah. I rent. I do not own. Like when you go on a vacation, you go to that place or something. That even explains why he has most of his stuff that's expensive there. Yeah, like why it's so high security, right? I don't think two resources cut for all of that shit. That is no, not two resources. But it makes sense for your backstory here. Your alternate identity makes sense here. You're a doctor. You should have more money than two resources. Generally, doctors are one of the highest paid professions that you can generally get into. Yeah. There are so, ways you could explain it away, to be fair. It's just that it might require an explanation because if someone has access to the hospital records, which is not impossible given that hospital <laughs> means easy access to bottled blood, and controlling that is like, a big, you know, prize in a city like this. Why it, not under Craft, which is a private eye, to actually have some proper security? Because private eyes have terrible incomes? Yeah. I mean, and thus, that to make, me... the security would make sense, yeah. but then it would make no sense for why do you even have such a decent house? Yeah, well, yeah. it's not exceptionally decent. Luxury two is at the yeah, lower yeah. end of it. I meant yeah. with things like a boat and stuff. We have a pretty good location. Are you actually putting the point into the boat? Are we? I right? didn't Are say anything about the boat. No. Yeah. I. Yeah. None yeah. of us have said anything somewhat... about that aside from epic. Someone needs to essentially put an extra point into the pool background if you want a escape boat. At the start, that is. I I would say no, and yeah. it wouldn't be under my name. So to be honest, I mean, folding it under me is probably the next best okay. option. You can deal with the questions that come up from the vampires when they ask why you're living in an apartment. You do have common sense, still, to some extent. Aid will be permitted under circumstances like that, especially on a subject like this that you would have had a chance to think of in advance. Just keep in mind, Steel is gonna be in one of the potentially more dangerous locations, and he could easily lead to your safe haven being compromised, and yes, there are, there are one just of the risks involved in it, be aware. I, I do not this want... as a risk of him being in this profession in the first place. He wants to gain info from the hospital. He's already a liability for wherever we put our base. Well, as an explanation still, people in town would know that this isn't necessarily the uh, fanciest house. And you could just say that you're living in the apartment, in the hospital, while you're, you know, moved away from the big city, have some money, and you're fixing it up. Settle down here. Easy. If you want to go with this explanation, that's how you can cover for it. You've been that in a lot of... That actually work. Yeah, you have been in several yes. bigger hospitals, according to your background. People actually remember you from there, with as much as you put in alternate identity. So the cover story fits there. So, you could put it together that way. As I, as I was saying, you're actually the most suspicious without having something else you're putting into. In terms of me being nice, by the way, chat, this is character choices, not character, or rather it's character building choices, not character, in character decisions. In character decisions, I would fuck them with. Except, again, if it's something that they don't realize and their character would, in which case I might give them a way to save themselves there too. It's important to keep note of 
giving people proper value for their dots, including stuff like wits and intelligence, for example. You made a full intelligent character, but you don't know this basic thing, or you miss, like you overlook this basic thing. Oh, I'm yes. gonna, t I'm gonna let I mean, you roll for it. I mean, I'm just putting it this way, Steel. You are the best thing we have for a real cover of where our base is. So I even I... our even our being there is pretty simple to explain. Well, I'm not using the house much. So I let my friends come over. They're helping well, with some of the repair that. work. Yeah. Mm. They are helping with some of the repair work and, you know. Three weeks later. Are... So, are you gonna be uh, joining the local pride parade, Doctor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, guys. In one place. So, Jeez. why did everyone ma make guys? Because they're easier to play for a guy. It's easier for a guy to roleplay as a guy than it is for us to roleplay as a girl. You know, if Nyaxi was in this, maybe it wouldn't be such a sausage fest. Yeah. <laughs> it totally would be too. Don't, don't maybe so. because yeah. some of, most of us didn't consider trying to make a bait character. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... I mean, it's better than having Pen here, though. She, she just has horrible luck all the time. She has horrible luck? Have you seen the stuff she's done to those elders? I mean, all the stuff that she's been handed in regards to the elders has been more than, has been more than handed back because she keeps getting raped during her hunting sessions. <laughs> That's just Gale being creepy, I think. Uh, anyway. She... So, she's you have a small what? house by the beach. Actually, I'm going to so take a look at the... Things? I'm going to take a look at the map and... I'm going to see if there's, like, a reasonable place. Also, if you want the boat, it can be woven into the backstory as the doctor having a boat. You just... Yeah. Need, someone just needs to sacrifice the point for the escape vehicle. For the group I believe in you, Demi. Yeah, I guess I could remove that one dot of status I had and get the pool the background up to four. Do you guys want me to? It would be um, nice. Um, I'm not sure how important um, status is going to be for the campaign, so... I'll in theory, we shouldn't have almost any anyway. We're supposed to be training. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 There you go, I added another point, so that goes to the boat. Okay, so... It actually looks like uh, we have a couple choices right there, so any of those would work up over there, so... In terms okay. of beaches? Yeah, and, well, not particularly beaches, but little docks, actually. Ah, yeah, excellent. Then, uh, perfect, then you can add the boat to the thing. And this will be something you would have gotten from Leopold as a, you know, escape vehicle. Yeah. So, Always you know. Always wise to have an exit strategy. It, it, would, yeah. it wouldn't necessarily be built for comfort, but it would have essentially room enough for all of you and maybe a tied up prisoner or two. <laughs> and it would be fast. Yeah. Yes, that is, uh, as far as I know, where we decided. Yeah. Because we can have access to a pretty out-of-the-way home while at the same time, you know, yeah. having various... I'm inclined to agree. I'm going to laugh it ends up being that our next-door neighbor is actually, like, one of the vampires. There are no gangrel there. Those rumors have been exaggerated. <laughs> What's, actually, uh, let's see if I can get better. I think... Oh my gosh, we could have a really awesome little home according to the map. Literally, the northernmost corner home has a small path to a way out of the way dock. Yo, Ooh. fucking pick, send link, send link. When was he? Yeah. I will I allow go. this with three security. <laughs> I, I want to see this. I want to see oh, the house no. too. Oh, God. Keep link. Keep link. Derek, are you suggesting that I make a proper Garou character for this campaign? 
<laughs> because I know how what? to do that. <laughs> Wait, why make a Garou character? I am not sure oh, how yeah. to send this link in a smaller way. I'm not uh, sure if this will break it. Right, right click and uh, copy link address. Or, you know, if you have Gaza or something, you can use that. But, okay, okay. Yeah. is there... I should have split the video previously. Okay, in-game information. Hit me with your questions. You want to know how much you know. Yeah. Um, do you have any idea of what the vampire presence is other than there are five vampires? There are three to five vampires here. Any ideas to the clans or the, the sect or anything? Uh, do we know would, clans, you, sect? You would know that they're supposedly a young but promising group, and you know that the sect is Camarilla. You know more than that. Okay. It's essentially it be... along the lines of, yeah, we caught an agent of the enemies and interrogated them. We got this lead. Follow it up. All right. Okay. Uh, um, was there any possible uh, prior information that could suspect on mine, very minor masquerade breaches from the, from the group? That could um, imply that there is a vampire prison? Nothing specific. This is essentially... Either they haven't been here very long, or they're actually taking a great deal of effort to blend in, or both. This, this is why there's a team here that essentially lead. There weren't direct breaches that, you know, drew Hunter attention to this town before. All right. in... Which is basically why we have assassination and uh, tracking characters, yeah. primarily. Yeah, it's essentially a case of it's been quiet for a couple of decades here, as far as we could tell. So, you know. Yeah. Nothing in recent times. Before that, you know, the occasional atrocity. 40 years back, doused someone with gasoline in the city square and lit him on fire. You know, the usual. The usual. So it was probably Sabat and then got kicked onto un into uncontrolled. I'll just see if a regular. Uh, you said something about um, oh, sweet. you said something about uh, them interrogating a certain informant for uh, the the presence that they that we know the vampires are here actually. Yes. But uh, as besides far that, as the, you know, the informant had heard a rumor about it, and generally speaking, it's something they picked up in passing. So they didn't have a lot of information. Okay. So we just know that they're there. Okay, got it then. Yeah. Oh, nice. The information is trustworthy because they apparently broke the fuck out of the prisoner. And they have sanctioned witches and the like to make sure he's cooperating and telling the truth, right? But it's just that he doesn't know that much about this. Alright. About... Yeah, you'll notice. Yeah. There's but, a nice um, little... We know about the we know the distinctions there. between clans and sects or uh I, I think one of you had four occult. Four. I think that was craft. Yeah. Yep. You you would have you would have a basic idea of the clans and you would definitely know about sects. Uh, same for Epic's character. And all of you would, of course, know the basic weaknesses and a lot. Yep. So I would know the basic, like, this. these guys have uh, mind control powers to force people to do things. These guys make people like them, kind of stuff, right? You would be... Or you, you would know who the normal, ordinary, or who the Camarillo clans are. And you would have a vague idea as to what position they might occupy within the sect. As far as specific powers and clan weaknesses go, you would may need to make intelligence or cultures that like know those. Okay. And later now or later? Uh later when it comes. Right. So okay. when exactly do we hit in? Do we like just start it or are we like in a week or so in? Uh, well, we could probably get a little bit of a start right now, but it's gonna be mostly next. We're, no, we're, no, no. Yeah, um, we're not gonna play today, but in terms of when you start... 
Yeah. More or less, after you have gotten your individual jobs, established your presence in the city, the house has been rented, you have been accepted at the hospital, you're, you're essentially, you know, first days of work, that kind of thing. You're, you are I'm just like about in the done settling week. in. Yes, exactly. You've, you've done the grunt work of setting up the stuff you bought with, you know, background points, etc. Uh, did yeah. the uh, did the Society of Leopold yeah, give us yeah. an exact uh, sort of time that we have to finish, or is it more of a general thing? It's like you know, the sooner the better. It's a. It's not even a sooner the better. It's a. Don't fuck up and don't disappoint us, kids. We believe in you. <clears throat> I know, right? Uh. They don't have much faith. Faith. <laughs> I mean, they believe you can do it eventually, but they also, it's a, you know, it's like, at some point you have to become independent. We know it's going to take you forever to solve this without someone more competent tracking there, but you have to make this leap, and this is as good an opportunity as you're likely to get to get your feet wet without getting your faces ripped off, you know? It's, they're treating this as a training mission for you from their end. It's prove what you uh, can do, prove you're ready to grow up kind of thing, you know? There's no set time limit, it's just a, at some point they're gonna get more and more disappointed. Yeah. We get to start to get some very, some very disapproving uh, phone calls if we can't provide We're also probably gonna anything. get less resources. Uh, Why? So... No, like if you keep it, we're gonna get less stuff from them. Generally can, speaking, what? same like the werewolf stuff. campaign, your reports uh, need to justify them giving you more stuff. You should have enough to manage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I think most of mine and Demis could cover us for weeks. As far as I'm on shit. It's... Guys, this spot right here is amazing. There's only one house that even has a window facing us. <laughs> <laughs> Epic. But welcome to we, Epic. Storyteller Fiat. We are not gonna go off the satellite maps to that extent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, this is the area you said we should go at. Yeah. Let's you, not you, get you, fucking you, distracted. In terms of you, what you said, Steel. If you're thinking in terms of Will my ammo last through this long protracted war? You've already failed by having the wrong attitude and you'll get your party killed. Change no, no, your no. brain. There was Vault, no. motherfucker. Uh, like, my character, I don't expect to go directly into confrontation. Uh-huh, don't make excuses. Uh, so, Chris, another question. Uh, so we're the well, like we're the hunters from the church here, but uh, do, do, does the church maybe know of any uh, independent hunter organization here, or? Uh, no, they don't. Not currently. By reason of there not having been much of a need for one, it's not like this is talk where atrocities happen every second day. <laughs> so we we don't have that kind of setup. Okay. Essentially, your superiors would warn you that from their point of view, this has every indication of being a situation where they're very clever and deceptive fiends here as opposed to the rip people apart kind of monster. So be prepared for some very careful detective work and very cautious vampires. Mm, yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, since we know it's Camarilla, we would expect that, right? Yeah. So wait, so, vampires that are not player characters. What you're saying? Imagine a group that everyone is about fifty percent of epic skill level. Oh fuck! Ooh. Oh no! Oh no! Can, can we just can we just give up? <laughs> <laughs> they were competent enough to be given a small town of their own. The elders trust them. The Camarilla so elders. 
That is, that is ever so slightly is... terrifying to think about. That is straight up terrifying to think about. They impressed elders enough to be given their own town. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, Demi. I promise there are no more than three Tremere in this city, honest. Yeah. <laughs> I, one is too much. I'm sorry to say this. As far as, That's well, as long as they don't have a heavily defended chantry to keep them to, to uh, and they, as long as they interact with the outside world and are outside of their, their chantry, whether or not it's heavily defended, I think we can deal with a peaceful town that nothing goes on. Mm. Holy fuck, guys! We have to like go to one session of like no violence and just detective work. How, how do we do this? What? How? <laughs> I mean, uh, think of it this way: if if um if 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 Chris and Kale can actually ever get um can actually get used to it, each other enough, then then this is good practice for you guys trying to hunt down the demons. I think mm, when we, if we stuff. do a uh, cooperative campaign, it's going to be a slightly less challenging setup. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. Probably, probably with everyone playing their same system. Hmm. Any more questions? Uh, so I'm just starting up, like as a, as a personal thing for for the character. I would be like not even remotely familiar with the people. I'm just getting to know them. And you would have run into each other previously, working as part of different groups under more experienced leadership. This is your first mission together as a team of just you, with no one more experienced in charge. I see. In terms of more advice from the higher ups, this group of vampires and this sect of vampires in particular are very good at using mortal authorities to their advantage. Be careful. Criminal crap could allow the vampire to just smirk at you through the bars while you yep. go off to a long stint in prison. <laughs> if you get okay. arrested, they can probably manufacture evidence and make sure you go away for a very long time as well. The police are not your friend in this. Yep. So this question of mine will probably go back on, the, on a previous question, but it's better to uh, be secure. Uh, the religious institutes here, like the random churches and whatnot, uh, do they have any relation to the church of Leopold or do, were they not needed at all, like to place their own agents there because of their activity? They're not directly related to the Church of Leopold, no. Some of them might have been in the past, but it's been long enough that whatever contacts might have been in past hunts have either moved on or joined the society or died since. That being said, there's organizations of faith, no doubt, and they might be of some use if you can convince them that there actually is a demon stalking the streets. It's in an emergency you can try it, it's just risky. And you don't know if they might not have been corrupted even when, you know, you might be talking to them and they turn out to be a ghoul and rip. You know? Yeah. Assume no one is your ally except the ones in your own. Ah, uh, even then you fucking doubt him. <laughs> Don't assume, like, don't assume that um, a specific person necessarily is a vampire, but don't trust anyone. The tricky part yeah. is, you need to, if you do this right, the toughest part is going to be identifying the, the vampires, preferably yeah. without them even knowing that you're looking for them. If you can manage that, actually mm -hmm. taking them out should be relatively easy. Yep. Like, the, the toughest parts are going to be finding the vamps without them knowing where we are and rolling well enough to kill them in one shot. Well, they probably don't hang out together all the time, so... Yeah, 
I mean, taking out the one we the one or ones we've ID'd in one shot. In, to put it in short, make sure you understand the focus of your mission here. Your first, the primary part of your mission is gathering information. In fact, if you can't kill the vampires, then it's more important to pass on the information than risk getting yep. killed yourselves by attacking them when you're not sure of winning. Because mm -hmm. then you can getting names back. and faces. Yeah. yeah, getting names and faces means that we can pass this, the information to society, yes. and someone who's better at just straight up sniping vamps is going to be able to get on the case and just end them. Then again, you, you have the Jesuit me? ninja, so you should be okay. <laughs> yeah. We should be okay I mean, as long as we can ID them and catch them I mean, alone. And we unaware. should send any information before we do su such a movie. Yes, regardless. Steel, that's exactly yeah. yes. what your higher ups you are telling you. Yes. Killing them is secondary objective. Primary is identifying what's going on. That's correct. Yes. Ending the undoubtedly terrible reign of the terrible vampires is what you're here to do. Killing them is one way you can make that happen. That being handing said, off the information to the, yeah, handing the information off to people who can do it better is another way. That being said, if you can manage this on your own without draining resources from the great work that has been started in Boston, would be a added <laughs> bonus as far as the society is concerned. In yep. other words, you can Try and call in help if you fuck up badly enough. Just try not to and try to make it work on your own. Mm -hmm. yeah. So basically our objective right now is first we compile all the information we can, we can gather on the, uh, the vampires, send that off to the society, and then go try and murder them ourselves. Derek, yes, after the third neonate goes missing, someone is gonna notice, possibly even as soon as the first one goes missing, depending on how the luck goes. That's why you hit all of them on the same night. Yep, we just sent, we, we send in the Jesuit hunter to kill the larger section, and then we just, uh, and, and our, our holy sniper assassinates at least one more. Holy sniper. The holy sniper. Okay, you take a shot at them. He shrugs it off. The gangrel descends into the earth. Come and get me, bitch. <laughs> Let me get zero successes on this fucking damage I roll. Have, I, I have given myself a nickname now. Which is? The, there I check. The Holy Sniper. No, I'm fucking oh. read it. It's so Oh, man, that's so fucking You cheesy. would get excum excommunicated. Change it. <laughs> God damn it. Excommunication for Demi, okay. Add the flaw, Demi. I mean, you get that you get that awarded to you after you murder your first elder in a single headshot, not 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 just offhand. Oh my god, isn't Boston where Jackalor had his game? Maybe I'll make Ishmael and Zandor the end boss. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, oh yes. yes. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> oh. No. Then we get Demi no. too. What's his name? What was that? Gang of name? Kurt. Oh my god, our old party shows up and they're like, <laughs> This is our town now. <laughs> Scream! Oh my god, yes! Yes! No, but also, you know, the hunter, the police cop? The police cop, wow. Oh. The hunter cop, remember him? He, you know, he's like 19 now. <laughs> he's the one running the campaign on Boston right now. <laughs> You, you do know, I, I actually do really approve of bringing in other characters, but yes. let's not bring Xandor into this, please. <laughs> I mean, it'd be pretty fucking funny if you murdered him, just because, like, suddenly fist to, fist to the face. No, that's not how that no. Xandor operates, dude. That's not how. He... He's a guy Add that like really 30 hate. XP on top for our characters having survived another 50 years. <laughs> oh fuck no! <laughs> and just add, and just add a derp Tremere in the mix. Choice. Xandor was just is the worst kind of vampire for a hunter to face. Just yes, the worst. Yeah, 
you, you do not want him. Then there's that Asanin. combo power for Dementation and Auspex for... Oh my fucking god, yes. Wait. Wait, what? How is, how is he the no. worst type of vampire to face? No, 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 no. Because Xandor is... Uh, Xandor can tell the secrets from people's hearts by literally just talking to them. Oh, oh. If, if you talk oh. to a hunter with Xandor, he will find out immediately. I think I might include one of them as an alternate end boss, and I will roll randomly for which one maybe, and ask Jackalor for the sheet, or access to the sheet. Whether or not, uh, you know, uh, you're... Uh... The Malkavian could also be somewhat bad. It just depends how he does things, though. Yeah. Obfuscate like plus dementation plus mind reading. And he, he, had he had presence too as well, so... Um, look, that that Mal has to die. He's a heretic. He he says his gun is the god. It's, I'm it's actually god. not too That's super not okay. worried about the mind reading in general. Because, you know, it will require usually more than one success unless we're literally about to kill them. So Yeah, like, to find out, oh, I'm, we're here to kill vampires, that's not like... Hunters it don't go around thinking depends that. depends on who they read and how clever they are, honestly. Yeah, I mean, really. Like, if, your if they... mind is just burning with hatred that most people can't master epic. Someone with true and faith, Demi, that also is kind of iffy. And Demi is like, fuck you, bitch, I will snap you. I do have something of a defense with uh, how much training and willpower and wits I got. Willpower it, it, already it factors different. into already resisting it working at you at all. Wits, oh, okay. maybe. Willpower sets Mainly the I'm difficulty just, for uh, it getting yeah. in. It would just depend on, you know, the situation. If I'm about to kill so, him, it's totally on my mind, even if I'm trying oh yeah. not to think about it. It wouldn't be so, too hard. Two or so, three successes would probably do it. One probably. is the one where you maybe might get away. And even then, that would probably be some kind of a luck roll. Possibly, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Again, I think that one will depend on situation. I think the yeah. three most dangerous <laughs> people in terms of having an awesome end boss would be Kirk, Xandor, or Ishmael. I think those are the most likely in different ways to fuck the party's day up. Because Ishmael yeah. can... Well, Xandor too. The obvious case just... I could be any face in the crowd. And as good as Ishmael's yeah. at lying... And he has a <laughs> humanity. He might be able to actually infiltrate your group as a local hunter. Good. Uh, I don't want to do that. I mean, um, I think the sleeping during the during the daytime thing might be pretty. He big. can automatically succeed at staying awake, at eight humanity, yeah. if he's not stressed while he's focusing on yep. that. Okay. And he has minus two on all checks to lie or perform, so he can just go. I think I ate something bad when he's concentrating on staying awake. So have fun. I mean, yeah, I uh, at least have psych psychometry, and if I kick it up to three or four, and I, I and I don't roll shit, it. I think a lot of lies are just going to come unglued, as long as I have reason to do that. Uh, Xandor is pretty. Uh, he's a yeah. bit of an asshole. Arman, trust mm -hmm. me, the amount of dies they have. No. Psychometry doesn't rely on them. It relies on me being able to roll perception alertness. Um, Epic, what were you? On, weren't you on, like on the path of Typhon, or were you a heretic? Oh, he was actually humanity, but he was only at five. Oh. Okay. Only at five. You are like the most humane set I ever at that age level. Yeah. I mean, he would probably have gone down by one at this point after fifty years. I mean, been... the bigger problem with Xandor is that he has. Auspex to four, Presence to one, Serpentis to five. And he has removed his heart. Did you start with that? Okay. Yeah. Her modifiers per the significance of the item or the severity of the psychic resonance as described above. 
I'm just gonna treat this as Auspex 3 essentially in some ways. Yep. It's basically Auspex 3 is a power for humans. Yeah. So, you're just as um just as actual projection is uh, So unless you're Auspex you 5. would literally be reading something extremely important to the character. Yeah. And keep in mind when you try to do that, both Xandor mm -hmm. and Ishmael have a fuck ton of Auspex so danger sense. Yeah. yeah. I actually I think really like the bad. idea of adding them as a end boss. Um, <laughs> yeah, you would it. be fa fa fucking us because they have obfuscate and only like one at most two can see them. So, if there's a Nosferatu neonate in the city that has obfuscate, you are fucked. Disciplines are powerful even at low levels still. Just how it goes. Actually, I did roll a 10 and I thought that a 100 XP random clan deputy might not be enough <laughs> of a boss. And they oh, might send oh someone that the prince doesn't like, but who is powerful enough to be competent to deal single handedly with a group of hunters. So it makes sense oh. given our character's history is epic. This would. Yeah. Mostly Both for you. Good. I was very good at making people like Eat me. shit. He knows that you're a Setite, and he hates Setites because they stole his heart. This is true. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, but here's what? the thing. Xandor has a lot of in with most of the rest of this. It doesn't that? matter. The prince would treat it as an opportunity. Yeah, if you survive, you can claim that little town. Easy. We die. Wasn't Xander like a harpy almost, or becoming it one? It doesn't after... matter. The prince did not like him at all. The if prince can good... spin this to as an opportunity, dangle a reward that seems commensurate with the risk, and fuck the fact that he's hoping we will fail. It doesn't matter. He can spin this easily. He can't get just get us so, killed. Remember the thing we pulled in the court? Just summoning everyone there and me talking him down from killing Bacon there? He must despise the both of us. Yeah, he probably does. That was like, bitch, you can't touch that. How about, how about the, the nuke into his mind when he tried to read your character? When he tried to mind that him. was only a minor thing, but that didn't help. It embarrassed him further because people saw him stumble there. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah, there is another aspect of Xandor that would be just absolutely uh, debilitating in some ways. He has addictive blood. Yeah. Oh, of course right. he does. It's a set tight. I will ask Jackalore for the sheets. And I will make the roll randomly. I'm not gonna. I might or might not replace them, but I will seriously consider this. Make like yeah. ten different sheets. Because for, oh, a, like maybe five different sheets. I mean, if I add another thirty experience, that's almost what counts as an elder for the new world, XP levels wise. That's like a super experienced <laughs> Ancilla. I actually have his sheet open right now. I ended at one twenty four XP. Oh shit. Right, we got to 120. So yes, that's essentially an elder Gangrel, an elder Setite, or an elder Malk, as designed by Fucking competent hell. players. Yeah. Fucking and, hell. And a Derp Tremir that is like close somewhere. <laughs> Truly. Kirk just hisses at you. Your true fate does nothing. The power of my blood <laughs> protects. <laughs> I will fake a snake bite on your family. I mean, I, I still laugh at how I was able to completely fumble Jackalore with that whole, you know, ah, oh, you're now separated. Get on the ground. We're taking you in. All right. All right. I'm not doing it. All right. Snake tongue. Sip, 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 sip. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wait, man. what? Wait, what? Every ST needs one or two players that are gonna call him out when he pushes things a bit too far. Like you with that legit squad of Arbities. 
I mean, if I, like, I'm thinking right now, and if I ever actually end up picking up a combat Numina, Pyrokinesis is probably what I'm going to end up picking up. Well, of I course it's going to be Pyrokinesis, uh, Aru, come on now. You are going to requisition, yeah. need to requisition, probably for books on instruction on that, if you want to pick up an entirely new path. Uh, yeah, I know. Something else to remember, uh, Sandor was a discipline prodigy at Auspex. I know, I remember <sighs> that part. I didn't want to go for Discipline Prodigy. Oh my god. Ishmael has the thing where machines register the obfuscate as real. Yes, he yes. does. Oh my. I think I picked oh, up Sleep god. Unseen as well as a backup when I took extra I flaws. I believe you did. Oh, fuck me. You're all dead. You are all <laughs> dead. It, yeah, it, once once the final boss comes in, we're all fucked, but this was already known. I mean, oh, you have true I mean, faith. Let me sing you the song of my people. Oh, God. We can't resist that either. Yes. We're fuck. mortals. You. Oh. Oh, no. Um, True faith gives resistance to dementation though if you hit uh, three you, you can, have to yeah, hit you three can, first you can use true fate dots to resist vampiric powers with dementation uh. four you need to roll at that whatever it was difficulty eight i think you need to keep rolling till you hit the total of five successes needed i would let you use true fate as a substitute for having vampiric self-control sweet but only those with true faith. It's a problem. Yeah, I I think I won't let the sanctioned witches do it. Probably. So what what you're saying is, uh -huh. if we if we meet Ishmal, I punch him in the throat first. Yes. Unless he walks he in as him. a party member. Yeah. And then I punch him if in he, the throat. If he gets in as a party member, we're already fucked. Yeah. Meanwhile. I'm... Ishmael has identified the most dangerous party member. Demi fails a self-control roll to resist the bite. It's drained of blood and left in an alley. And Ishmael, after having read his mind, just walks into the party headquarters and waits until it's his turn to be on watch for the night. So, yeah. what I'm hearing right. is I should hate everybody and just you, punch everybody as You a can't hate everybody with that burning intensity. No epic. Mm -mm. You need a legitimate reason to suspect or hate. All right, so I need to hate Demi and Steel's characters and I punch mean, them epic. in the face every time we epic. meet. Epic. You wait, wait why would you hate my character? Wait, wait. <laughs> epic. Wait. No. Yeah, no, no. no. I, it won't I work. After all, all, it could be me that's the most dangerous. After all, I'm the most likely to expose him. Keep in mind. Only if so you have a unique set of talents that might actually make Ishmael me more dangerous. Ishmael rolls to performance rolls and subterfuge rolls at a four with nine dice on. Yeah, you can. It's not easy. Um, so, um, epic. Your character grew up with the oh yeah, God and everything, and you mustn't tamper with it, right? What? I didn't even hear what you said. Your How character. Um. Yeah. We we have no hope of overcoming that. I will I add them, yeah, Demi, can... before we actually play next week. I, yeah, roll this, I didn't hear what you said. Your character. You what about my character? He basically grew up as a zealot and like a religious. You must not tamper the human body, right? Oh, for fuck's sake, Steel. He grew up in a monastic order being trained as a killer. Yeah. Also, Epic, you and me have to be like best buddies. We have the most similar stories, actually. Uh, I'm also German. So... I'm also an uh, orphan, just like my fellow hunter. Our, some of us have some fairly similar stuff. Yeah. Likely luck, draft, is roll two, keep highest. Unlikely luck, 
is roll two, keep lowest. Luck is just roll one. Yep. All right. So for the <laughs> and you can always just look at the yeah, and you can always use the likely luck and just ignore whichever one didn't get dropped if you need to roll unlikely luck. Essentially, if it's likely, if you want something that's gonna roll high, you pop like for likely event, you want to pop likely luck, and then the higher the one that is kept is, the more likely it actually happened. For unlikely, same story. It's just that it's you know unlikely. See, for example, here, you know, unlikely, and it didn't happen. Because the lower roll was still. That 10, yeah. though. Yep. Shame that 10 got ignored. Yeah, but there is no unlikely luck on macros available to us. He will add it later. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, it should it be matter. visible to you. It might not. I mean, no, really. It's... It's I'm just having shit luck right now. There you go. It's visible now. Yay. Uh, just a question before, uh, just so I can finish things off fully. Um, yes. The hunter tactics thing that we did. Can we actually use this? Are we use? Can we use the starting points to get those? Yes, one freebie per. Oh, you mean and in terms yeah, of the free points? No, with freebies. Oh, okay. And so buying that... it with XP is the same as buying an ability. Or do you have to start? Two with? to start it's with, a... and then one per level. All right. It's a secondary kind of yeah. ability. Essentially, you're just going right. to need to spend some time with Epic instructing you, more or less. Yep. Because he can, at I mean, the very got, least, yeah. teach you up to, yeah. like, a three, reasonably enough. Mm -hmm. in a... and, and most of the higher levels are more, you're working with other people as hunters. Because hunters shouldn't operate alone. No. Uh, you, Not if, they have if, you if your plan has holes that are obvious to me, this would be one of the ways in which you might get advice, essentially. Yep. It's another way to not fuck yeah, up. I also suggest yeah. you read the part that suggests about planning things out and how Desti is supposed to handle that in the Hunter's yep. book. I will be handling it differently, but I'll be taking inspiration. Alrighty. Like, you're not going to get mechanical benefits, but hey. I'm going to encourage you to actually sit down in character, and while Ishmael listens from the shadows, plan out your attack on him. <laughs> you're just going to keep trying to ratchet up our paranoia about that, aren't you? I mean... Or it's ooh, obviously a harboring of scouts. dangerous could a Elder Malk be that I designed with love while trying to fuck Jackalore's game over? You see, the second you said fuck someone's game over, I mean, my thoughts immediately flashed to Henderson, and he completely, he murdered an outer god for fuck's sake. I, I trust Old nothing. Man. Old man, yeah. <laughs> There's a bit of a difference between breaking a game and trying to play a game. Sometimes they're surprisingly yeah. similar. Yeah, like... Uh, epic and Draco for Jack's game, they tried to play it, but in a way that would poke through any holes. Okay, epic. Give me a roll of unlikely luck to see whether our party actually managed to assassinate the prince in the past 50 years and take over the city outright. Oh. Nope. <laughs> they have not taken over the city. Not overtly, at least. Well, honestly, no. we were very confident. Maybe it should be a straight. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it should be a straight luck. Immediately rolls a one. Yeah. So the part now of the group let me roll said, likely luck to see if Xandor has managed to gain control from the shadows. How's that? <laughs> I do not call that likely. How about just straight luck? Maybe go for it. Uh, not yet. Nope. nope. The dice do not want your old character. It's like we're seems. doing everything right, but oh Jack... no! Actually, this means our characters are more likely to come in here. Yes. This is bad for right. us. Should I maybe roll a luck die to see if Kirk didn't kill himself? That's unlikely luck, I think. <laughs> 
Let me roll likely luck. The higher it is, the more likely your character has met an untimely end. <laughs> roll likely luck? Okay, let's go. You've met an untimely <laughs> end. You're currently staked wow. for the next 50 years in the prince's basement as surety of our good behavior. <laughs> After your failed attempt at uh, at killing yes, the place. He took a hostage. Should, uh, should I roll unlikely luck to see if my Tremere is incompetent enough to just get get killed? Still, I, I don't think. I, I don't think. I don't think that's a role. I think you're either Ishmael's and Zandor's bitch at this point, or you're dead. Probably. <laughs> I'm probably. There's the there's not a chance. We were working so hard to tie strings on you. You yeah. you belong to us now. I mean, what if the Tremere just I mean, got him? Are you sure he's just stuck somewhere in like a yeah very small room making blood? Yes, the entire day? that's exactly what I meant. Yeah, like. And also, he probably ha have finally managed to do the flavored blood meat and all of that shit. shit. And like Maybe. bottled blood meat and shit and all of that. Roll likely, like luck. You know what? Do, do, do you want me to roll? No, uh, no, no it doesn't matter. Funny. We're done. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna end the recording. I think we've covered the obvious questions. We can actually. Any other stuff during play, you can ask if you would have been informed about that kind of stuff. Or you can always call it in and ask for advice, because there will be experts outside, just, you know. Essentially, you're trading on goodwill whenever you ask them for help. Keep that in mind. And with that, I'm going to end the recording and the stream here, and I'll see you next week at the same time for the first session.